up at the box office and dethrone the number one film. They're all set to open in theaters this Friday. CNN's David Daniel has a preview. She won't work with anyone. One minute she's good, the next minute she's sending three guys to the ER. What's up, dog? And you're gonna go on a little road trip. Easy. We got so scared of it. Come on now, big time. <laughs> Two former Army Rangers embark on an unforgettable journey in the comedy Dog. Channing Tatum stars as Briggs, who road trips with his new four-legged partner, Lulu. They start off on rough terms, but form an unlikely companionship along the way. Is there a challenger out there with the hunger, the drive, the discipline to become the next champion? What? All right, I think that's enough for today. The animated film Rumble is an underdog tale. Will Arnett voices a loving monster, Steve, who battles the odds to be crowned the next wrestling champion. A young woman, Winnie, voiced by Geraldine Viswanathan, helps coach the monster to victory. This path of Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. Biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. Tom Holland stars as Nathan Drake in the action-packed video game adaptation Uncharted. Drake teams up with a treasure hunter, Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg, to find coveted hidden gems, a quest that takes them soaring to dangerous new heights. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. It is hump day, and time to head over to SA Live. Oh boy, guess what we have today? Food. Yeah. Lots of really good food. Which is what we do. Yes, <laughs> and it is rodeo themed. Yes, and of course we've got a recipe that will surely satisfy those country cravings from beef loving Texans and registered dietitian Shailene yeah. McNeil is here. And of course with, you know, inflation being what it is and things costing more, you've got a great, a idea great right there. value cut of beef. This is a bottom round roast. Sometimes we call it a rump roast but for less than $5 a pound. Look at the size of this cut of beef, and we're gonna make a meal that'll feed a family of four with this cut of beef. All right, okay, speaking of rodeo, how you can take just a you know plain old kind of good looking hat like this and really <gasps> spiff it up. We are gonna show you with some of these hat bands and some other really good accessories as well. All right, speaking of rodeo, and we've been showing some video of all the mutton busting going on, which looks so much like so much fun. What animal would you ride? Would you be brave enough to ride, you think? <laughs> Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. She has ridden a bull before, but after you do that, guess what? You get a prize, and that's a cookie. And Sabrina Monroe from, I'll let you say it. Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookie Club. Woo! Look at yeah. these cookies. <laughs> so you can smell them, the flavors, and just yes. like Grammy used to make, right? But less of the guilt, like a little bit less. They're still cookies, but they're the cookies of the future, for sure. All right. <laughs> and of course, spring is just around the corner and of course kids are going to be around Watermore so we take you to a swim school that's open year-round teaching those life-saving skills to kids. Something very important to do that and a whole lot more. We've got dinner, we've got dessert, we're all set. SA Live's coming up. Welcome back. We're up to 72 now on our way to 78 this afternoon. Skies are beginning to clear. Small chance of rain tonight and then warm, breezy and dry tomorrow before cooler air works in by Friday. We'll see some chilly mornings both Friday and Saturday morning, but a pretty nice weekend. Some increasing clouds on Sunday and another chance of rain by Monday. Little breezy again. All right. Did you see the size of those cookies? Yeah. Like you little plates. He audibly gasped. Like, man, those look good. You think they'll bring any home to us? Uh, I don't know. No one might probably already eat about three or four of them. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, well, with the spring season just ahead, we take you to a swim school that's open all year round, teaching life saving skills to kids. This exhibit here at the San Antonio International Airport is one of many ways the city is continuing to celebrate Black History Month. We have the story behind this exhibit. Oh, heavens to Betsy, look at these cookies. Oh, they smell delicious. And guess what? Take away some of the guilt. We're going to tell you all about that. That and a whole lot more coming up today on SA Live. Don't mind if I do. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh. Ah, oh. Nom, 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 nom. You could just yes. smell mm -hmm. these cookies. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Mm. I know they're mm. jealous. Mm -hmm. Hello and happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And of course, we are in the thick of rodeo season. We've been seeing a lot of video of all the mutton busting going on and got us thinking if you could ride one of the animals, what would it be? Gosh, you know, it's like we, when we were thinking about that this morning mm -hmm. and when we came up with that question, we started going through your Instagram. Do you even know what you have on there? Because I think we found we found some pictures. And I just wanted you, when was this? What vacation was this, Mike? <laughs> what did you guys come up with? <laughs> okay, and then we went a little further and I went, when did you go to Hawaii? <laughs> What's that pose? For? Is that when we were down at the beach riding the horses? <laughs> I'm like, why am I why is my hand out like Hold this? On. <laughs> and then we went a little further into your Instagram and Wow. Wow. My goodness, is that a silver fox on a silver fox? What? <laughs> oh, see, he wasn't in the office this morning, and that's what happens. <laughs> so what animal would you choose to ride, Mike? <laughs> I, well, you've you've done my choices. <laughs> no, obviously, I've done a lot. I, I've done it all, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Speechless, yes. So let us know if you could ride any animal, what would it be? And if you have Photoshop skills, have fun with it and send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. SA Live Face on Facebook and Twitter. All right. Well, our first guest makes cookies, but with a name like Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookies Club, you know they think outside the box. And these definitely aren't your average desserts. Oh, goodness gracious. Way more than the Kung Fu Kitty Cat. Yes. You can do it. You oh can my, do it. Really? Wait, you, got, you got this. You got this. Kitty Cat Cookie Club. It's here to show us what makes these sweets. Where'd you come up with the name? Okay, yes. my father had a love for martial arts, and I mean, it just stuck with me. Plus, my grandma had a love for baking. You know what I mean? Put both of those together, you get a credit. And America loves cats. So okay. you put those things together, Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookie And you get club. cookies. And you're not going to forget it either. You know what I mean? If it takes <laughs> you time to remember it, I mean, it's going it's to stick with you. It's so fun so, to absolutely. say. <laughs> and you're not going to forget can, can it. Can you say it? Can you? Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookies Club. There we go. One time. One Show time. off. There what? We go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about some of the flavors of the cookies that you brought. Okay. Right here we have our, What's let's this one? start off with my personal favorite. We have a s'more cookie. Oh. Right there. That is my personal favorite. Then if we keep moving, if we go one down. Oh, one you down. Have, right you here? You have your classic oatmeal. I see you're about to break uh, that s'more that part, though. I mean, mm -hmm. that, yes. Oh, look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Chewy mm -hmm. and flavorful. Oh, what, 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 what do you guys think? I mean, y'all. I'm about to take a bite. Okay, I'm about to take a bite of the s'mores. Oh wow. Okay. You mentioned that this is this one is the s'mores kind of that is one of your favorites. That, that's my favorite cookie. Absolutely. Your favorite. That's my personal favorite cookie. I can see why. Uh, that is so you. good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we know what these are. What's this okay. one right here? That one right Okay, we made that just for you, because if you go to our page, if you put in our code, it's going to be uh, cookies for KSAT. And you put in our code right there, that is going to be our birthday cake oatmeal sandwich. But this is not your traditional grandma's oatmeal cookie. This thing right here oh, is jam-packed. No disrespect to grandma's. We love you, grandma. We love you, grandma. Mm. This thing right here is amazing. We made those just for you guys. You know what oh, I mean? So, but boy. you go on the website now, it's a KSAT special. If you go to our website, you can check us out. We, we have a special. Cookie. I know, I love it. We have a cookie. All right, okay. And we're gonna do a little bit of. Yes. Uh, Hold up. What's this one right here, real quick? Oh, that's that's our true. That is our. That's what started it all. That's our original Kung Fu Kitty Cat Club cookie. That is stuffed with uh, vegan Reese's, M and M's, marshmallows, and then we layer it with it as all. So it's also stuffed and layered with this candy. And by the, by the way, that's my bite taken out. Of, that just <laughs> of course it is. Yes, it You're is. always sampling it, sampling the display. Right, so we get to make a sandwich out of this. Yes, uh, right? we, just, we made this icing for you guys right okay. here. Okay. All right, you got this, okay. you got this. So okay. we just take any cookie and, and... Any cookie, any cookie, and you guys make a sandwich. It, okay. It's okay. easier enough to layer on there. As much, and do, this is your icing, so do not, do not, do, you know what I mean? Put as much, much as you as want. As much as you want, there. okay. The goal is to make it thick. All right, you know? so Ooh. while we're doing Everything this... Everything is big in Texas. Tell us what makes these cookies a little healthier, or uh, less guilt, if you okay. will, right? Let me see, we created Kung Fu Kitty Cat Club to provide San Antonians with a, a better option when it comes to cookies. I mean, we figured if we can get them to change their mind on dessert, we can get them to change their mind on breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. <laughs> Good <laughs> point, I like I mean, that. Absolutely, and uh, so, I mean, the, and it, it, also, happy Black History Month, everybody. That's right! So, if you, if, with these cookies right here, one thing, especially in the African-American community, it is one thing that plagues it is, uh, generally, it's higher for, Heart, uh, heart disease and diabetes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So this is kind of our cheat code. Because if we can get somebody to be able to say, okay, I'm not sacrificing taste for health. 
then we got them. Uh, you know what I mean? We got them. And yeah. that way, somebody doesn't have to go cold turkey as exactly. far as. Exactly. You can still have the sweets. And, mm -hmm. and you know, if you didn't know what was in these things, you're just going to fall in love oh, with them because the yes, taste absolutely. is there. And that's all that counts, right? Thank you. And this is mm -hmm. how you trick your family members. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You come in and don't even tell them. Just give it to them and see what they think, you know what I mean, afterwards. Okay. I'm going to take what, 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 what cookies I did mean, you use? Which one is that's the honey? That's the honey apple oh, crisp. That's the one we sampled oh, earlier. Those yeah, are good. that was honey, good too. Yeah, honey I, mean, I, took, I took the s'mores. Mm -hmm. I already know. Uh, I already know yeah, what you're I, going I figured, for. Yeah, I already know what you're going for. How long y'all been in business? About, uh, about almost three years. Almost three years. Business going good? Growing? Um, business, I mean, we're here with you guys, so absolutely. Business is going great. Mm -hmm. And some new products coming out too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we have a, uh, we're going to have a cereal bar coming open it up. With, uh, you can follow us on uh, with Nikki Monroe on TikTok to keep up with everything. Right now, kind of family owned, you know what I mean? So you can keep up with all of us and see what we're doing. We're laughing, having fun. Just trying to bring San Antonio together. You can watch how we're making these cookies and whatnot. Okay. Where can people mm -hmm. find them? <laughs> the $64,000 question. All right, here we go, Silver Fox. Where you can yeah. find them <laughs> is going to be at Kung Fu Kitty Cat Club on uh, Instagram. Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookie Cat Club on Instagram. I think I even just said it wrong, I, I, but maybe I didn't. On Instagram, go check us out. Hit a link at the top on the website. At that point, you can choose whatever you want on there. Really and of easy. course, you, know, you can find them like at Hash Vegan Eats too, oh, right? Let's talk Eats. about where else. Okay. Okay. If you want to go brick and mortar, go straight to Hash Vegan Eats. It's here. They just were on, on here with mm -hmm. you guys as well. Shout out to Hash Vegan Eats. Yeah, go over there. Those guys pick up any cookie you want. They got it all. So we've got about five. I, I think the honey apple cinnamon crisp was my favorite. About five different flavors here. What other flavors do you have? Okay, we got uh, right now. That, that, these are all of our flavors that okay. we have so far. We're working on. We have a sugar cookie coming out around Fiesta. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna Ooh. really hook something up for you guys. And we have another thing we're working on, a little luchador uh, cookie as well. So we have some stuff coming up with some guys we're working with. Well, I was gonna say oh, this oh, one happy even birthday, looks. Happy birthday, David! Man. <laughs> happy birthday! And this one even looks like a Fiesta cookie. Just yes. kind of has does. it. Thank you, you know, for saying right? that. We, I was debating that at the bakery. Everybody's like, let's do a Fiesta cookie. I was like, we have a Fiesta cookie. Yeah. You know look at all those but, colors. Okay, absolutely. Look at that. You could throw different I mean, colored M&Ms in there. It Thank did you. look like Thank a you. cookie fruit cake to me until I knew, you know, what was in it. All right. the colors. Don't forget, you can try. Kung Fu Kitty Cat Cookie Club cookies mm -hmm. for yourself. Pardon me for talking about mouthful. Yeah, mm -hmm. No problem. No at problem. Hash Vegan Eats, go to their um, all their social pages, mm -hmm. and you can have them delivered. And for the next two weeks, mm -hmm. use the promo code KSAT and get free delivery. All right. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. We have good cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Very good cookie. So, all right, before you know it, even though the weather is changing, yeah. spring is definitely going to be here, and that means it is going to be pool time, and the kiddos are going to be yeah. yelling, I need to go to the pool, need to go right. to the pool. So, of course, it's important to teach them how to swim early, and we've, we've found a place here in town teaching little ones water skills that can, of course, save their lives. Well, spring is almost here, and you want to make sure your little ones are learning life-saving skills, especially as they start to head out about the water. And joining me right now is Arlette Belver, San Antonio franchise owner of the Aquatots Swim School, and we are here at the North Central location. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Fiona, for being here. We're very honored to have you. Of course. Now, tell me what makes Aquatots unique. We are an indoor facility with year-round swim lessons. We teach kids from four months and up, and we believe strongly that every child should be safe in and around water. And all the locations are indoors? They're all indoors, and they're all the, in the pool room and the water, they're kept at 90 degrees throughout the year. So, so lessons pool, can go on all year long, right? Correct, our pool knows no seasons. So tell me about the different classes here. Yes, we teach kids from four months and up, and uh, for example, in our level three, we start kids, uh, they, they get introduced to free, freestyle, and we teach an elementary backstroke that we call Chicken Start Racket. Our children love it, and what Chicken Start Racket is, it's a, a stroke that um, helps them when if they ever get in the water, they roll on their backs, and uh, with very minimum energy, they can get back to the edge of a pool or uh, back to uh, safety. Okay, and so tell me a little bit about what they learn at the youngest level, at say four months. So at four months, we are getting um, we're getting them adjusted to water. Uh, children also do practice uh, rolling in their back, and uh, it's a class with the parent, and it's a beautiful way of bonding with the children. Okay, and tell me why, of course, it's so important for kids to learn these skills. So um, based on statistics, 
having children in any formal type of uh, swimming instruction can reduce the risk of uh, drowning by 88%. And 88%, Fiona, is a huge number, it's big. And what should parents keep in mind? So we, uh, at Aquatats, we believe on the ABCs strongly. A stands for adult supervision. B stands for boundaries. We are the ones responsible to teach our kids what to do and when to do things. And C stands for consistent classes in swimming instruction. And so tell me a little bit about the instructors here. Oh, the instructors are wonderful and dedicated people who love working in, uh, with children and in the water. Most of them come with a background in swimming. We have our own um, curriculum that it was developed by Aquatots and we're very, we're very proud of it. So walk me through each of the levels. So as they uh, continue to master the skills, they continue to um, go to different levels and there's different things that they get introduced in each level. Uh, we, we talked about uh, the, the uh, skills we teach in level three and level five, they get introduced to um, breaststroke and uh, sight reading. And as they advance through our curriculum, they just get introduced skill by skill, one, one at each time. So if folks want to sign up their kids, how do they go about doing that? So we have a website. Our website is uh, aqua-tots.com. Uh, they can also visit us at any of our facilities. And of course, open all year round, right? Open all year round. <laughs> all right. For all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the At Scene on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fiona, for being here. So important. Oh, right? gosh, yes. Get them to learn those skills early. Yeah, but remember, nothing replaces supervision. Adult keeping, supervision. Never That's the leave number them one. by themselves. All right. All right, still ahead on the show. One of the busiest spots in the Alamo City is helping to shine a light on black history. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is there learning about our city's hidden past. But first, you know, those incredible flavors from the Rodeo Grounds are only here for limited time. However, we've got a recipe that's going to satisfy those country cravings whenever they hit. That's next on SA Live. Oh, that looks so good. Well, mm -hmm. welcome back to SA Live. Of course, it is rodeo season, and if you want to cook like a cowboy, you can't go wrong with beef. Beef! Yes, and <laughs> Shaylee McNeil, registered dietitian with Beef Love in Texans, of course, is here yes. with an easy recipe full of some iconic Western flavors. So okay? good to see you. <laughs> so. Once again, what cut of meat are we using? We are using a bottom round roast. And sometimes you'll see this in the grocery store as a rump roast, but a bottom round roast, we think about it as pot roast, but we're gonna do shredded beef and it's so delicious and a great value cut too. Okay, cause you said less than five bucks a pound Yes, for this whole cut of beef here was less than $12. So isn't wow. that awesome? Yes, okay. so lots of beef for our family. We're gonna put it right okay. into a slow cooker. Mm -hmm. We didn't season it, we didn't do anything, we just put it right in that slow cooker. Okay. And then Fiona, you're gonna help me make the sauce for okay. it. We're gonna do a whiskey molasses shredded beef. So you're gonna just start off with a little bit of, this is your whiskey okay. right there, about a half a cup of whiskey. You can get all these ingredients on Beef Loving Texans. You're gonna add in your molasses, a little bit of tomato paste, brown mm -hmm. sugar, vinegar. Now, does the whiskey have any sort of, because it's a highly acidic, I would assume, does it have? Does it tend to break down the meat a little bit better? It helps with tenderization, and we're gonna okay. also add some vinegar there, too. Some apple cider vinegar, and that's really what's gonna do the job. Okay. That, okay. that vinegar is gonna help. And the other thing about the whiskey is, because some of the moms may be wondering, it's okay for the whole family, because the, the alcohol off. is gonna yeah. cook off, and all that great flavor is gonna be there. Your kids won't be acting like they've been in the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> to touch on that, and I know you wanted to maybe mention about, uh, uh, instant pots, but will that also cook off even though it's sealed up in an yes, instant pot? Yes, you okay. can. All the heat will take that alcohol and evaporate, and you'll have just those great flavors. So you can just mix that in, and mm -hmm. even if it doesn't mix perfectly, mm -hmm. Fiona, you can drop it in here okay. right on top of our delicious rump roast. And then you're just going to take your lid. If you want to do this slower, you can cook it on low for mm -hmm. about eight to ten hours. If you want to do it a little quicker, about four to six hours on high. Just set it and forget it. That's gonna go. That's the beautiful no thing. No marinating, nothing like that. No right? Just mar pre marinating. It. Look at that. That's gonna come out if you've do done that on high for about four to six hours. Look, it just shreds, and you have your shredded beef. The sauce on top that we added turns into almost like a barbecue sauce, but it's whiskey oh, and sweet wow. and. 
rich and so savory. The Cowboys would have loved this, so if you're channeling that Cowboy spirit, you definitely want Beautiful this. Beautiful that And looks. so many different ways you can use this, right? You can use this. We're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Mike's going to make a slaw for us, and you can use this in, as an ingredient. So I think you've got some Dijon mustard, Mike, and a little bit more of that apple cider vinegar. You're going to add in some fresh slaw. You could do just carrots and then some Granny Smith apples for that nice tart. Mix all that together. Um, I just like adding ingredients right on top of the dressing and tossing it. And that's as simple as it is. So Dijon simple. And apple if it's not, if you want a little bit of sweet, you can put a little bit of honey in there if mm -hmm. you want just a kick to that. I love this because it's not only so hearty and nutrient packed, it's really crunchy and savory and delicious. And I don't know what I would ask for more of <laughs> as a dietitian who loves beef. <laughs> And then you've even got some sliders We here. are serving it here cowboy style with yep. some biscuits and taking advantage of all those cowboy ingredients, but we'll do sliders. I'll put this left over and do it on tacos or oh, freeze it and bring it out. Thing. Yes. So, so many ideas at Beef Loving Texans on how to use shredded beef. And that's the nice thing, like you said, it, it does freeze, so you can just portion it up into plastic bags, and then how would you reheat it? I just take it out and uh, thaw it in the microwave and heat it. You can heat it up on the stove top, but I'll do it in the microwave. The kids will put this in a tortilla and have a quick taco. So Done. many ways to do shredded beef. And Hand me the, a biscuit and I'll fix you up here. Here we go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yummy, oh yummy. And you'll just get those rich flavors. Remember, you're getting all that iron and zinc and protein and a balanced meal. Mm. I just, so delicious and rodeo ready, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's great too is you've got the nice savory of the beef and that good crunch, like you said, not only with the slaw, but with the uh, the apples and that good tang These, in there. Yes, it pairs so nicely with beef and gives you a little crunch and chewy and deliciousness. Many, and so it, about, how, oh, go ahead. So folks, you know, wanted to try you know, maybe some other flavors. What are some ingredients they could use? Well, you could actually, you know, use your favorite barbecue sauce if you wanted to. Mm. A lot of our recipes, though, when you put in a roast, you could just add some broth and you can set it and forget it and, and add whatever flavors on top that you like. You could add ginger, you could add any of the herbs and seasonings that you like. We love doing a barbecue sauce, though, too. And again, you don't have to brown that or anything like you did with the powders. Just pop it in so there and you're all set to go. Simple. And such a great value cut. You know, it's hard to find anything oh with gosh, uh, right? shopping the these days that's not the a value. grocery store. You know, and when you think about it, that, and how much was that? Uh, how much that weigh? A couple this pounds? Whole, yeah, this was a uh, little over two pounds for $12. This whole meal would be less than $20 and that's easily as, feed a family of four. That's as much as a big pack of bacon nowadays. Absolutely. That's oh, a great and you're value. getting so much protein. It's a lean cut, too. Mm -hmm. So you've got lean and great nutrition oh, and good. all kinds of deliciousness. All right. Well, whether you're Thank looking you for barbecue recipes, Mexican food, burgers, anything you get, you're looking uh, for, you can find it on beefleventexans.com. They have, I think, what? Five million recipes, and Shailene's done them all. Yeah, so. done them all. <laughs> so a link on our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or snap the QR code on the bottom left-hand side of your screen right there. Still ahead on the show. We wrote you some rodeo food, but what about rodeo gear? No need to buy a new wardrobe. How you can westernize the stuff you already have with feathers, fringe, and leather. And next, one of the coolest parts of the rodeo, you can check out some of the latest and greatest cars and trucks. I jump inside some of these next generation vehicles and find out what's new. Oh, they are sweet. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Well, Ford and the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo go together like, well, cowboys and horses. And boy, if you want to talk about horsepower, <laughs> listen up for this one. <laughs> we are inside the new Ford Mustang and we're with Ford dealer Sean Barry. Nothing says just <clears throat> classic car like a Mustang. That's right. It is a classic car. 1964, you know, they started building the Ford Mustang and been building them strong ever since. Um, great sports car. You know, there's not a lot of two-door cars left. Uh, this one right here is an EcoBoost, 32 miles to the gallon. That's an important thing when you're talking about a sports car, right? That's, a, that's yeah. the new world we're living in. Um, uh, this, this car goes zero to 60 in five seconds, 310 horsepower. And this is our starter Ford Mustang, right? So we have the Ford GT, right? 460 horsepower. And then, of course, the Ford GT 500, which is 760 horsepower, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. So unbelievable cars. Ford's done a great job in not only designing them and keeping them with their heritage look, but also giving you uh, great safety and uh, fuel economy and, of course, power. All right. Well, I could live in the Mustang right here, but rodeo means trucks. So you got trucks here, too. Let's go check got them out. Got a ton of trucks. Let's go. All right. All right. Speaking of trucks, yeah, kind of starting on the small side here, right? 
That's right, this is the brand new 2022 Ford Maverick. Comes in a hybrid motor, right? So hybrid or a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. 32 miles to the gallon on the on the hybrid, 28 miles on the 2.3 EcoBoost. Unbelievable truck Ford put out. And the best thing about it, it starts at 19.9 for a truck. Unbelievable numbers. Never hear that kind of number for a brand new car. That's right. I mean, it's been a, a record setter for us. Uh, we Ford's not able to build enough right now, but they're ramping up production to meet demand. And uh, it's going to be a rock star in 2022 and 2023 for us. If you haven't seen it, come down and check it out. It's a beautiful truck. Best dollar for dollar vehicle, I think, on the road today. Okay, speaking of production and demand, what about folks custom ordering vehicles? So yeah, as you know, the business has changed. We have a chip shortage, a worldwide chip shortage. Uh, we have parts issues uh, with COVID. And, and so about a couple years ago, uh, real quick, not to take a long story, but our business model flipped and, and we didn't have any cars. So you had to order them and now, we're really understanding that ordering a car is a great thing. The customer gets to, you can sit there and order the car from your home or your office, get exactly what you want, custom designed to exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And that car shows up in six to 12 weeks. And on top of that, Ford gives you an additional discount if you purchase, if you order a vehicle. So custom ordering a car is the new thing. People are loving it. They're spending less time at the dealership and more time on the soccer field. Okay, the partnership between the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, I mean, like we said, it goes together like cowboys and horses, right? That's right. You know, we, uh, we've been uh, sponsoring the rodeo for 10 years strong, and uh, we have a lot of history with FFA and agriculture, and we want to make sure that we're a part of raising awareness and raising scholarship money for these kids. You know, a lot of these kids that are out here showing animals are, are using this money to go to college and getting back out on the farms and growing. So uh, it's a great opportunity for us to be a part of the, the, uh, the Texas culture that we live in and the heritage and make sure that uh, we have future farmers of America as we move forward. And of course, we want to sell a few trucks and have some fun at the rodeo. Sounds good. John, thank you very much. And for more information, make sure to visit your Best in Texas Ford dealer or visit the website, texasford.com. And remember, let's rodeo San Antonio. Next on SA Live, San Antonio has something to really be proud about. Why our celebration of black history is going, is getting national attention and find out some of the exciting events that are happening soon. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is live at one of them. She's straight ahead. Welcome back everyone. Well, the San Antonio African American Community Archive and Museum or SACAM is partnering with the San Antonio Airport in honor of Black History Month. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is out there with some special guests. Hey there, Jen. Hello, that is right. The SACAM mission is very clear to collect, to preserve, and to share the cultural heritage of African Americans in the San Antonio region. This month, there is so much going on, and I'd love to give a shout out to SACAM for being recognized in the New York Times, putting San Antonio on the map as one of five cities in the entire country that are going all out for Black History Month. And joining me now is Deborah Omowali Jarman, the CEO of SACAM. And thanks for I being did. here at the airport because this exhibit is one of many uh, that you guys had a hand in, right? Absolutely. And we're so excited to be here and to celebrate Black History with you and with the San Antonio International Airport and our guests, the Buffalo Soldiers. Yes, and this is something you told me earlier. You do this all year long. It's not just February. Not just February. Mm -hmm. Black History, we celebrate it 24-7, 365. Mm -hmm. This exhibit in particular, there's so much significance. Can you tell me a little bit about what we have here at the airport? Absolutely. So one of the things that we do at SACAM is to uncover buried history or uh, and to talk about it. And what we don't know a lot of is about blacks and cowboys, black ranchers, uh, black land owners, the land uh, ownership of African Americans at the turn of the century was over 15 million acres. Currently, that has decreased to 98%. So celebrating wow. a story like the Wilcox is still having their ranch is so exciting. Mm -hmm. And it allows people to see themselves mm -hmm. or see even other people that don't, don't look like them in history and understand that they belong. Yes, the representation truly yes. matters. I Absolutely. couldn't agree more. And I'll, you have so many resources on your website. Some of those online exhibits, everybody can access. You have so many free, we said this earlier, keyword, free, free events <laughs> coming up. Uh, but again, one of those exhibits is featuring the Buffalo Soldiers. Yes. So we're going to transition over here now. Thank you, Deborah. And up. we're joined now by Trooper Ezekiel Allen hello, from the Bear County hello, Buffalo hello, Soldiers. Thanks for coming out here we today. We're proud to be here to team with SACAM and the city of San Antonio once again for Black History Month. 
of the Bear County Buffalo Soldier Association. We were formed in 1999 right here in San Antonio, Texas. And many of the displays that you have here, farm equipment, we actually have at our outdoor park and museum on San wow. Antonio's east side. So we welcome everyone to come out. It's open to the public mm -hmm. for educational and family events. Mm -hmm. And we're just proud to be a part of Black History Month here in San Antonio, Texas. And we had to point out what you're wearing because this yes. is really authentic what you have here. Yes, thank you. This is an authentic <laughs> 1800 U.S. Army uniform. We wore this, the Buffalo Soldiers and all the Army units as we pressed westward. It's made of wool. All that you see is authentic. And we do have optional uh, items on our uniform. For instance, we have our slouch cap, which is used for the cavalry, so that they can hide the, shit, the sun mm -hmm. from their face and the rest of their body. And also, if necessary, they could use it for the horses to gather water, to drink water. Wow. So yes, we do come in with the full part. So many stories and lectures, and this is what you do all year long. Yes, uh, similar do. to say, Cam, the education's a big part, and you're always out in the community. There's always something coming up, right? That's true, and yes, COVID did not stop us. We also do Zoom. We have presentations throughout the city, from book clubs to corporations, and so on and so forth. So on our website, you can find all information about Buffalo Soldier history and how to contact us. We're more than willing to either Zoom with you or come out of covert restrictions permit. Perfect. We thank you for inviting us. Thank you so much. All right, so we have some events that we're going to mention really quickly. SACAM is honoring, um, I'm sorry, the Buffalo Soldiers have a historical lecture tomorrow from 5 to 6.30 at the Bowdoin Academy. You can also see them at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, February 21st, 7 p.m. SACAM is honoring Rosa Parks Day tomorrow, teaming up with VIA. The community is invited to this free event. It will be at La Vita from 2 to 3 p.m. The Woody Museum has their Black Cowboys in American Story exhibit. That continues through April 2022. Artifacts, photographs, and so many other works for, um, to feature Black Cowboys. And of course, the exhibit here at the San Antonio International Airport. So much going on. We tried to get it all in, but be sure to follow SACAM and the Buffalo Soldiers. We have their information on SA Live. Dot com. What a great recognition. I'm so proud <laughs> to be part I of love, I love all that great Colorado. history, yes. too. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jen. Thank you, Jen. All right, still ahead on the show. Too much turquoise? No such thing. Boring cowboy hats? Never. It's the season for feathers, fringe, and leather. And we're helping you get all decked out for rodeo. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest turned a hobby into a full-time business and her Western style accessories have become one of the most popular booths, you know what, wherever she goes. Laura Gulbranson, owner of Chestnut Cowgirl, is here to show us her handmade accessories and how to transform your cowboy hat like never before. Good afternoon. Hi, hey. hey guys. Hi. All right. So you have a full cowboy hat Bar. Explain that. I do, I do. I actually premiered it uh, when I was a vendor at NFR last year when we hosted it here in Texas, which was awesome. Um, and it's usually much larger than this. And it has all kinds of different hat accessories. So we start with a hat band, I have ribbons, cards, brooches, feathers, you name it, just all kinds of stuff to dress up your hat. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, so I had this hat and it had a very narrow little uh, leather band on yes. it, but mm -hmm. to dress that up, yes. you how do picked we, out. How do we make my cool? Uh, cooler. Cooler. Well, I heard cooler. he's the silver fox, so, yeah. you know, it shouldn't be hard, but we'll see. So, <laughs> so it starts out by you just grab a, a band. Mm -hmm. If you already have a band, I have, I'll have one here, for example, as well. You can even leave the band on that you currently have, okay. and you just place it around your cowboy hat. And should I tie the back or on the side? Um, if you're going to put a feather on it, I always tie it on the side. Feathers okay. always go on the left, and I tie it on the side because once you do that, then the feather just covers that up. Okay, so and so if you have, say, a fashion hat, mm -hmm. like the one I have right here, that already has, you know, kind of the embellishment on it, you can just kind of add something like a feather or Yes, something to just kind of dress it up a little bit, right? Absolutely, and all of, um, like you mentioned, with the fashion hat there, yeah, some of them are already really pretty, but you just want to add a little something. So all of my uh, feathers are made with clips. There's a little clip on the back. So you just give it a little pinch. And as you can see with this one, I've done the tie on it, but it's kind of ugly there on the side. And you just slide the clip right on. And, and so then you can also adjust it. And the nice thing about that is, too, if you want to have it on there, you have it on. And it comes off nice, 
very easily, or you can swap it out with a different one too, right? Yep, create different looks. I have some of them already done up. Like this one has one of my custom bands on it. Mm -hmm. So you can see this has feathers. I also have cards, conchos, you name it. It just has, it just, the possibilities are really endless. I love the playing cards in there. That's great. So. Thank you. And yeah. you can add the accessories to say purses and bags, right? Yes, so that's actually where my business started was I wanted some fringe on my bag. I couldn't find uh, any tassels or fringe or clips that I liked, so I started making them. And this one here is great to show that it can be either be Western themed or that one's really classic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so you put it on your Louis Vuitton, any of your coach bags, so you can go anything from Western to just a classic accessory. And it's great because it's, it's mm -hmm. a little lobster claw clip and it's gonna, you know, just hop on there and once again, swap them out, take it off, put it back on again or something. I love actually the necklaces. Those wow. are beautiful. Well, thank you, thank you. I mean, what girl doesn't love some turquoise and some extra chunky jewelry, especially around uh, ro rodeo season? Uh, great to layer up. Um, all of my jewelry is very kind of leather and fringe based, uh, kind of gives that Southwestern feel. And it's just great to just put with a simple t-shirt and jeans and you got an entire rodeo outfit right there. And you have a giveaway for folks watching right now? I do, actually. So uh, my social media is Chestnut Cowgirl. Uh, and so follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a giveaway going on right now for some rodeo tickets for the San Antonio Rodeo, followed by Brett Young. The contest ends this Friday. The concert is next week. Uh, so follow me, tag some friends, enter into the contest, and win, win some rodeo tickets. All right, well, if you happen to be in the area, Chestnut Cowgirl will be at the Houston Rodeo on February 28th, and then at the Poteet Strawberry Festival in April. And you can order anytime online, of course, and for a link, just go to SALive.com and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab, mm -hmm. or just snap that little QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you very much, beautiful stuff. Thank All you. All right, next on SA Live, it's a problem facing teens and kids that can sometimes go unnoticed. A local doctor tells parents what they need to be on the lookout for and what help is out there. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our children and teens are facing a national mental health crisis. Depression was already on the rise and the pandemic just made feelings of pressure, anxiety, and isolation worse for kids and their families. Joining us today with the signs to look out for is Dr. Dina Tom, pediatric, ho pediatric hospitalist with University Health and associate professor of pediatrics with UT Health. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, let's talk about why pediatricians and mental health professionals are calling this a national child mental health crisis. So it's a great question. Prior to COVID, about one in five children were experiencing a mental health issue, and a very small percentage of those kids were getting help. So as you know and I know that COVID brought with it a lot of uncertainty, fear, grief, anxiety, isolation for everyone, but especially for children. So, you know, we're seeing these rates of depression and suicidation um, just skyrocket. And I'm seeing that as a hospitalist. In the hospital, we're taking care of a lot more children who are hospitalized for severe health issues. So what are some of the signs that a child or teen might be going through a mental health crisis? Yeah, so, you know, I, there are some persistent signs sometimes, um, persistent sadness, specifically if they've lost a loved one. About one in four children have. COVID has brought with it a lot of opportunity for us to get back together as families. And so don't forget that kind of good old fashioned communication is never too late to start things like family dinners, put the cell phone down. It can be hard, but re really letting your child know that you love them no matter what and initiating those conversations is important. All right, thank you so much for that information. Dr. Dina Tom, pediatric hospitalist with University Health and associate professor of pediatrics with UT Health. Uh, we're going to get the information up on the screen. That's 210-358-4000 or visit universityhealthsystem.com slash help for more information. Dr. Tom, once again, thank you. Thank you. More SA Live is on the way. Earlier, we asked you if you could ride any animal, what would you ride? I mean, I don't know if any of us can top Mike Osterhage's Instagram photos here, <laughs> but oh, our fabulous <laughs> producer, John Mars, says a large bird. It would cut down on plane tickets. Excellent. Oh, a giraffe. Rachel Smith, there we go. Equestrian. Oh, there we go, Lisa Ann. Ride uh, that, an ostrich. Now that, that would be a ride. <laughs> <laughs> 
a great white shark. Who came oh, over, oh, yeah, yes. there's, yeah. Okay. Your trip to Hawaii, of course. Where was Bonnie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>